Hi, it's Jill with Crick Clicks, and I am going to be working on centerpieces of, oh, I think this is a, I got, I got a, little, a little Indian boy and uh, Candyland little girl. Um, the images came from Divine Digital Diva, like all of my giant, all of my baby designs are all from her. And I am, I've got eight pieces total, four little girls and four little boys that I'm working on. And I've got all but two here done, and I thought I'll go ahead and show you how I glittered them up, and then we'll put together. If some of you ever find that you're having trouble when you're cutting out of getting a little bit of a jagged edge like here, it happens when your blade is starting to go dull. Um, but what I do is just take a emery board, and I think I've showed this before, but just in case, and I just go over it very lightly. Go the direction to the back. I don't want to do it to the front because some of them lie down, which if they're very long, I just kind of um, hold this with a little pressure underneath and it'll tear off and leave the pieces in the back little note because this happens to me a lot particularly like I said when my blade is going dull it happens or if you have the wrong settings if you forget to put your settings to your paperweight it can cause it to cut out but not cut out good okay let me kind of open and put my glitters over here I'm also using down here in the bottom she's got a whole bunch of gems which I am using these these gems that are the from the um, this imagine imaginist it's a heat up and you can put these gems on well I'm going to try and see I've been gluing them on because I think it's much much quicker but I'm going to try and see if I can get some of these on here using this heated up I don't think it, I I got it years ago and I haven't been using it. And by the way, it has to have a wet, the little box that the gem, or the little case that the bottle the gems come in, little plastic bottle, has a little tip that almost looks like a Q-tip on the end. And that is actually for you to moisten so that you can pick up the gem. Um, I can't, oh, that was hot. I just put new batteries in it. I can't um, find... I don't have a pickup stick because I gave one to my daughter, one to my daughter, and one to my daughter-in-law. So I don't have one. So I'm using this little baby, and it seems to be working fine. Uh, the bottles that I'm working that I have here are um, mixture of green and blue, which I don't like sorting them because it's hard to to flip them over. I think the reason I don't hardly ever use these. I shouldn't say hardly ever. I haven't used them in years. But I've said on numerous videos, I am going to start resurrecting old things and um, put them to use. Because I've got a lot of things here that I've invested a lot in, and I'm not going to just let them go to waste. So I'm going to use them on this guy. You know what? Before I put more on, I better see if this is holding it. What you do, I know I never liked it on the... the crystals because that was on upside down that worked really well let me see how did I end up with it upside down it wasn't upside down when I put it on there I bet you it was I bet you there was two stuck together and I didn't notice that we'll try it again because I can smell the burning of the glue on the bottom so there we go Hey, I hate flipping these things over. Uh, this this is when a pick me up stick is what is the best. Now, when I see the glue start to come out the sides, then I know it's already glued down well. Um, the I'm using the little metal ones, and I also have the crystal. The crystal I do not like because I do not think they melt good. They don't heat up as well as these little metal ones, and it takes a lot longer to put them on. And I stuck that one right to the table, so obviously that glue worked. Now, I'm going to finish them up, though. If I could get these things flipped over to the blue. 
I'm going to put some yellow. <sighs> they drive me nuts. Guys, this is why I don't like working with these tiny little things. I have farmer's hands. And that isn't meant as an insult or anything, guys. Um, just means I have big hands. Very big <laughs> hands. And working with these things are not easy. I near, never realized until um, quite into adulthood a lot before I realized how big my hands really are. And I guess you would say they fit my arms so they couldn't be too big, but they are really big. And working on little tiny things. That's one of the reasons I can't use the keypad on my phone because when I go to hit a letter, uh, I hit two or three. I can't type for beans, and you know that's the reason. And I was in the hospital for a procedure the other day, and my son, who just bought the house, his girlfriend, I'm hoping soon to be wife, um, took me in because my husband had to go to Milwaukee the same day to get his citizenship and guys he got it he's going to get sworn in on april 5th and i'm so excited i keep thinking why didn't we do this years ago he's been a swan one and he always just there was no reason just to to switch and just because we just didn't um but he cannot get a venezuelan passport because for the last probably 10 years they keep saying that they're all out so he can't get one and my kids all want to go on a trip to Cozumel, and we have to have a passport. My husband can't get one. So he and my brother-in-law finally said, you know what? We're going to bite the bullet and just do it. And it took five minutes. They asked him five questions in the interview instead of the test because, keep in mind, my husband's been here for 50-some years. And they probably thought he was crazy for waiting this long. But um, he... He, he now has it. We're just going to have to go in the sworn-in ceremony. And I told my family, we're all going, and then we're going to go celebrate. But anyway, so my, my daughter-in-law had to take me in for my procedure. And I didn't tell anybody what the procedure is, because a lot of people would think, eh, TMI. Because if it were me, I'd be saying TMI. So, anyway... She ended up putting a video clip of me when I came to after they gave me the anesthesia. And when I woke up, I was in a little bit crazy, crazier than I normally am. And I thought that she was doing a boomerang movie of me. And it wasn't a boomerang. I looked like a boomerang because I was under anesthesia, just coming out of anesthesia, and I kept sitting, putting on my head, putting my thumbs up, so my head go down and thumb go up, and I probably did it ten times. So she started filming it, and she put it on Facebook. And when she put it on Facebook, I was like, oh, I didn't care. I'm, you know, I'm not shy. I, I did not care. I thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I couldn't believe I did that, but that's how out of it you are. And um, anyway, <laughs> I started telling her, she said, I wonder if you're going to put this on one of your YouTube videos. Because she couldn't believe, not she, my, my daughter-in-law couldn't believe that I let them let her put that on Facebook. I didn't care. But the thing was that she put on Facebook the procedure. And I, guys, it's not a big deal. It was a colonoscopy that I had. But um, um, I hadn't had one in 10 years and, and I'm getting older by the minute. I'm getting old, guys. I'm going to be 66 years old this year. In a few months, I'm going to be 66. Old as dirt. But when I was at the hospital and they did all my testing, I've had everything checked, guys. Everything. I've left no part of my body not be checked. Because my one daughter said she could not live if something happened to me. She just couldn't handle it. And because of my granddaughter, who um, had leukemia, she gets very paranoid. But the doctors 
every doctor that I've saw, saw, even on my stress test, everyone said I am in excellent condition. So when they were giving me this test, I asked the doctor, I said, man, how, how many more times are I going to have to have this done? Because when I went in for my last mammogram, guys, am I giving too much information? I don't care. I'm not shy. Anyway, they told me it was, was my last one because over the age of 65, it is so very, very, very rare to find breast cancer. They just don't do the mammogram anymore. So I thought maybe this was the case. Yes? My husband's calling me, so I'm going to have to pause this for a minute and go check what he's doing. And then I'll come back and show you what I've got going on here. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. My husband said I need to get a recording studio light so I can put a light out there showing my recording. Oh, I'm not there yet. Anyway, uh, I probably didn't finish my last story and don't remember where I was, so I'm just going to not say anything. I won't finish that one up. I don't know what I was saying. Part of what I was saying, I knew. Okay, this little girl that Laura from Divine Digital Diva did is so cute because on the bottom half um, she's got the castle here that I glittered up. Oh, this thing is so cute and the, and the sucker and everything just so perfect. She does the best job. Love her work. I'm using my Stickles glitter. These little girls are two feet uh, they were cut at the waistline because then they're easy to piece together without showing a bunch of lines. Um, I used glossy accents for their eyes, the, all the, the boys and the little girls. And it's a lot of glitter in here, guys. Don't want to put my hand in her eyeball because it takes a while for that glossy. That's that, um, probably should always be the last thing you do or the first thing and put them aside while you work on something else because it takes a while to dry and if it's not completely dry and you accidentally put your hand in which I've never done um, it really messes it up and you can't just put more gloss in and fix it I mean you can but it's I can tell I can tell I can look at it and tell anyone that I put my hand in but it's, it happens because I need to not put it in till I'm done, especially on a piece like this that is has so much glittering on it. Because I try and glitter the whole castle, and I tried to do two at a time, and say I just stuck my finger in it. Mm. Guys, I just used, used the heat gun, and it looks like it worked well. I'm going to try it again. Resurrecting all these things, I, I just you know, I start to clean out my office and find things that I had forgotten that I ever had. Um, the other day, somebody, a friend of mine, that when I first started my idea of starting business, um, I wanted her involved in it. She was going to be partner up with me, but um, never did. Um, and she had... I don't know if any of you that are Cricut users remember the Cricut, I can't remember what it was called. It was for the Cricut cartridges, now I can't remember what the thing was called. But it would hold six cartridges that hooked up to your machine and um, then you could, you didn't have to change a cartridge every time you went to, to, when you needed another cartridge you didn't have to change it. You had it hooked up to this box and you hit the button and it grabbed a different cartridge. I can't remember what they're called. That was before they came out with the, the software. I'm going to tell you, that's how far back I go with the Cricut. And I had like 12 of those. And she said, well, what do, I, what do, you, what do you want me to do with these? I said, well, I'll take them and, and figure it out. I thought, oh, you know what? I kept a couple machines. I think I kept three machines for my grandkids. I thought I, kept, I, thought I only kept one, but I found a couple in hiding when I was cleaning somewhere else, my crafts. So I think I'm going to try and, and see if eBay or something, or local, locally here, because um, I also have, still have some Cricut cartridges because I have duplicates of many of them, 
and I still have two fully loaded with over 200 cartridges fully loaded gypsies and I was going to keep those for my grandkids but my daughter <clears throat> tells me that that Kennedy my, my oldest granddaughter who is 13 um, has never as much as touched the cricket I gave her it hasn't even come out of the box because I had one that hadn't even been used expressions I had the cake machine, the, the cake, not cake, the one for, for bake, um, making frosting, like fondant frosting, cutting fro frosting and things. Cricket cake, I think it was called. That was, I couldn't wait for that to come out because I'm such a baker. <clears throat> Never bake. Never bake. My closest thing to baking is going to the bakery. And not even that. I send my husband. But uh, I ended up using it for paper. It had the same, there was no, it, nothing was different other than the way that it protected the blade and the, the workings of the machine um, was the only thing that, that um, was different about the cake machine. So I, always, I converted that and used it for paper. But I think I have, I also had the mini. I have no idea what I was thinking, guys. Crazy. Because I couldn't use them all at the same time. Anyway, I think what it was was every time they came out with something new, you always had, you had to buy new software. They had the one software that you had to buy, Cricut Craft Room, not Cricut Craft Room. I can't remember what it was called either. So long ago. But I bought the disc for that. Um, that's what you had to buy it. I think it was like $35 for it. And then they came out with the new machine, and you had to update. I mean, it seemed like every time they up updated anything, they updated so you had to add, and you had to spend more money to get what you had to work. I think they're a little bit better now. I think everything's pretty much up on um, software now, I think. I don't know, because I don't have any of it, and I have no idea what their software even looks like. I do have folks asking me if I can help them out telling them how to do this, what I'm doing on the Cricut, and I can't, sorry, because I don't know how, don't have the Cricut software. And um, I'm trying to think of what else. I've had, I've, I've had some feedback that I haven't been able to get back to. Um, I just haven't had the time. And as one person said, why don't I just be myself and just tell them because I don't want to. Somebody's left a very rude comment, but I didn't get to see the whole thing because only part of it opened it for some reason, which I don't really care because it didn't appear to be anything I wanted to read anyway. Somebody sent in a nasty gram, and most of my viewers know how I feel about nasty grams. Give them to Cap. The world is too small. I've got too much to be happy about to let somebody rain on my parade. So, stop your whining, whoever you are. Just stop it. Grow up and be kind. How do you like that, guys? That's coming from the medication. It's still wearing off. I'm trying to cover as much of this as I can. My husband, we're really pushing now. The He's been making a lot of furniture and repurposing. And he has made some unbelievable pieces. As soon as I get around to taking the pictures, I keep threatening I'm going to get it done. I talked to Jenna this morning and I said, you know what? I think I'm going to delegate that to be your job is to come over here and stage it and take the pictures because I just don't have the time and I don't want to. How do you like that? But he's working on a piece now. Years ago, a guy I used to work with, his father would take antique wood beds and he would take the headboard and the footboard and convert it into a bench, and I got one. And it's my favorite, absolutely love it. It's just so cool. Um, so I w went to, my husband went out shopping for, you know, pieces of furnish furniture to refurbish or get pieces. You can get stuff that's junk, but they'll have good hardware or something on it. Um, and so, so he went to, uh, what was it called? Goodwill. And he found beautiful 
entertainment center. That's not what it's going to be when we're done with it. But solid oak with a blood-stained window in it. It was just, it's beautiful. Beautiful piece. Ten bucks. Um, so he's working on that. And I also found headboards, antique headboards of solid oak. They're all oh, really cool headboards. So they were like seven dollars. So I went and got, bought, bought a whole bunch of stuff there. And I went back to my husband. I said, man, you have no vision because you went through that store and saw all of that that I saw. And I bought it all. So he had to go rent a truck from um, Menards to go pick it all up. And he is out there from dawn till dusk in his man cave working. And I love it. He is so happy. He is just so I've never seen him enjoy anything more than he does this. The, the wine cabinet that he made out of an armoire, my son came in who just bought the house and saw it and said, oh, I want that for the new house. And my husband said, it's yours. And so I went out, Kiki said, you know, his girlfriend said, oh, he told us we can have that piece. And I said, he can't give me that piece. That belongs to Jenna. Because she's the one, it was her armoire that she, her father brought up from, Darlington, and she didn't want it for her, but it was going into our shop. So um, Kiki called Jenna and told her what happened, how you know my husband had told her she could have it, and then I jumped in and said, no, she can't because it belonged to Kiki. Well, Kiki and I talked about it and decided that as a housewarming gift, we're going to give it to them. Um, but we're going to do it on Easter Sunday, and we're going to make a scavenger hunt that they're going to think. We have an Easter egg hunt every Easter for the grandkids, and we're going to have the, uh, Kim hunting down something, him and Kiki. And it's going to be this um, wine cabinet. We're going to give it to him as a housewarming. But I have to make him, we don't want, they don't close till the end of the month. And we don't want him to go out and buy something or, and plus it was made by dad. So it's special. We did it. Mickey got we got one of the another table done out of that from that same armoire. Um, got five drawers in the armoire that, that are getting converted into little tables. And I will, guys, add a trailer as soon as I have all the pictures with all the pieces that he's done. He just made a, a table. For Jen and Andrew, and I want one. Well, every piece that he does, I want, and I've not room for him, nor do I have use for him. But he's doing, oh, he's doing so good. He's doing so good, and it's so exciting to be retired and to be able to get up and have something that you love to do. I, I emptied out all these bottles because all these colors are mixed, and guess what? They're still mixed. Guess what? I'm going to put them back mixed. Plus, I have these little containers. I should have been a little bit brighter about dumping that, but I wasn't. And so, you know what? I got a whole mess going on here. We have some paper scraps in there, too. Oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and shut the fi film off here because I'm going to pick up um, the filming of the bottom half of her. Um, the bottom half of him is here, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I need to see what's on the top half, but I want to do something different and unique for him, too. So, I will be back on this same video showing you some more fun stuff. Everybody have a good one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm back again. Um... Got all of the bottom half of the little guys glittered up to put together. They're drying now, but the eyes are all done. Glossy, I put on all of the eyes. Now I'm working on the bottom half of this little girl. I'm going to show you how I did it. I've got the skirt on here all ready to go. And I love this skirt. Love it. Okay, now... I did the white tab here to tape because it's a lot easier to put together. 
I only have one of these done. I got to do her other side. So you're going to watch me do the other side. And then I will come back when I have them ready to put together. Is this the front? It is the front. And now I think it was a clean cut. Yes, it was a clean cut. So there is some bead or some colors down here. But I don't know if I'm going to put some more gems on it or not. There she is. I think she's just so flippin' cute. Oh, this is probably going to have, this is going to win my favorite. Love her. Love, love, love it. I love the design on her outfit with the Candyland castle and the gems, but I can't decide whether or not. I think what I'm going to do on those, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Nouveau drops. No, I can't do that until they're done because those have to dry overnight. It's the only thing I don't like about those Nouveaux. I think they're awesome, but you have to let them dry overnight. I don't have overnight to wait for things like that. I need it. I need it now. So I'm just going to glitter these because there's one row that is full of the little stones that I put on. And these, I'm actually just going to put glitter in them. But I'm going to make the glitter look as though they're gems. And this is um, stickles that I'm using. I order my stickles from scrapbookpal.com. Uh, they, they have all... It's, Every color. I, I, I love it because they have all the co colors I need. I Somebody had sent me a link that also had them. But when they had free shipping, I can't remember what it was, but it turned out that it was still more expensive than scrapbookpal.com. I can't remember the reason why. I think it was because there isn't free shipping and scrapbookpal.com is free shipping. And my dog is walking through all of my bags that I need for these pieces. There she is. I'm going to lay her over here. And I forgot to put away one of these. This is what I used. Um, and another thing, when I was done with these, these ends of the tool. This is tool that I get at Hobby Lobby, these rolls. These ends I keep because they work to make wheels when you have a little boy's uh, got like a car or truck or anything like that. These round circles work great and paint them or cover them with paper and they make wheels that have, I can show you one here I think. What I like is that I like to have depth, depth. I like to have things that aren't flat. And to use these as wheels, you can set them so they're not flat. Again, I'm showing you how I repurpose some stuff that normally would be junk. And that would be one of them. So, I'm going to show you how I did the skirt. I've got everything all tied up and ready to go. This isn't the skirt, so I've got to move it over. These are all glittered and ready and dry. And someone had mentioned the other day that they went to do something and the time, they ran out of time because they did not realize how long it takes. Well, should have asked me. <laughs> it, it isn't. The thing is, is that when I start taping, I've already started preparing a lot of the stuff. However, right now I'm a little concerned because I thought I had an orange. No, it wasn't. It was a dark yellow. Okay, I'm good. It's all good. I got them all ready to go and thrown in bags. And my dog walked through them because I'm getting static electricity. I tied um, up all these little pieces of tool to make her skirt because her skirt's in like kind of a rainbow. So that was what I was working with. And they better put the trash can over here. So I'm going to be cutting off the ends of these so that they match up with the actual piece. Now, this is going to be a pain having to dig out every single bag, but they were sticking together so bad that I, they were sticking to my hands when I was getting them ready. So I need to, I need to separate them because they weren't playing well together. 
And I'm doing this right where, right below where the gem gems are. That one doesn't need to have, be trimmed. I probably should be using this one as my model because it's easier to read what I use next. And I can leave all my bags up here. This might be a little bit more work, but I find it even easier than sewing the tool like to make a skirt. I like to do them this way because I think they stay nice and full. I hear some squeaking down there. What's going on? What is going on? Somebody's in the kitchen getting something. I hear some noise downstairs. I have to watch what I say when I'm filming because I was going to tell you some funny things that happened with my mother today. But she might not think it's that funny. First of all, she, she always does the dishes. We have a dishwasher. However, she likes to have something to do. And the doctor said it was very, very good for her to have things to do, like chores. So she folds laundry and does dishes. And there's a few little things that she does around here. But she was putting something down in the garbage disposal and turned it on just fine. And I went out in the garage and I came back in. The garbage disposal was, was the water was turned off. And she was standing there telling me how the garbage disposal was broken, wouldn't shut off. And she didn't turn the switch off. So I quick turned the switch off and I said, there we go. And she, it was funny. You would have had to been there. But um, she turned it on. She said, oh, I didn't know that's where it, where you turned it on. And I said, well, you turned it on. And, and anyway, for, so if you can't laugh, at, I'm going to pick these bags up because it's getting too hard to get over time. Um, if you can't laugh at it, you got nothing to do but to cry. So we laugh. And she's been laughing a lot lately. It's been nice. It's been really good lately because I know in my last film I was talking about how it was just overwhelming. And she's been in a really good book mood lately and things have improved. We have to do it day by day. It can change from one day to the next, but um, it has been better. And I'm just thankful for that. I'll take for every day of better that I get, I will take graciously. And guys, I had no idea how it turned out that these are all the right length. That would not normally happen. And now that I said that, the next one's going to have to be cut. I'm going to go purple next. And did I do the reverse side? I don't know. I suppose. I don't know. I do to know. Do, let me see now. can't remember if I did two shades of pink. And I did. Here's my dog limping, limping along graciously. We're almost done with this one. I'm thinking I might put one together or not. I don't know what side I picked on her. So I don't know if I put one together right now or if I'm going to stop and do the others. Guys, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to keep putting them together and keep filming? Or do you want me to stop and when I get done, put them together and film? I'm waiting for your answer. You better answer quickly. Okay. Okay, I heard ya. We're gonna put this one. Nope, it's the same left side. We're not going to. But there, I have the skirt. And I love the way these came out. Love them. I may have to keep one of these for myself. I think they're so cute. I'm losing some of my... Okay, we're going to take that one. Oh, I love it. in the pink Nikes. I haven't decided if I'm going to glitter those up or just leave them. Probably just leave them. You know, sometimes you don't have to glitter everything. And this little girl has so much going on, I don't think she needs any help. I don't. And normally, I'm not going to do the back sides because I'll put those together as I assemble her to make sure that they line up correctly. 
because that can be an issue. And when you're putting pieces together, you know, you got to make sure they line up. There we go. And let me put her glitter on her. I'm going to put that. I'm going to go with the blue. I guess I should just leave it out. Did I? I did. Oh boy, I'm losing it. There we go. I I didn't realize when I started this that there were two rows of these gems at her waist. I thought that they were overlapped, and I thought wrong because there's two rows. And but that's okay. I'm just gonna glitter them. The gems are still there, and she's still adorable. Oh my gosh. This again is the theme of Candyland. Okay, I will go ahead and. These I do not want put together. This side. And this side. This. I will. These are going to be done separately because I'm going to put them together differently. This is the right one. Oh, all I had to do is look at the direction the feet were hanging or going. So, okay, I'm going to put one more t with pieces on it and then I am going to work on the boy. Show you how I'm going to do the boy. Okay, we're going to start out with a yellow. I think of some stories to tell you. That was my fam my daughter and her family, my two, I told you already they went to the Smoky Mountains and they've been putting up pictures every day. Oh my god, so gorgeous. I said, man, let's skip Disney World next year and go to go go there. Because my husband and I didn't go. We chose not to. I got one I got a cut. Um but I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna miss out the next time. It's just awesome. The things that they did, the kids went, the kids went zip line, line, which I bought a zip line last year, never got put in, and everybody would been asking me, have you done the zip line yet? Well, really haven't found a place for it, so we decided we're going to put the zip line in at my daughter's house because they've got that acre and a half lot with a wooded area in the back where they have a gym set and and the kids live back there in the summer. So we're going to put the zip line in at their house, and my son-in-law is going to build a treehouse and just now when I said that I remembered I think I already told you on another video but anyway now that they got to try it I saw the video the videos of, of little um, Wyatt going down it and it's too cute for words just so adorable but they're on their way home and we have our Easter egg hunt here on Sunday and my husband, I think I told you this already on the same film. I did. I know I did. So I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to keep my mouth shut, guys. You don't always have to have something to say. Although I prefer it that I do. Believe it or not, sometimes I don't. Like my husband would say, sometimes I just need to not say anything. Oops. I went when my son's girlfriend took me to the doctor on Friday or Wednesday, whatever day it was. Um, we were having a discussion about something that my brother-in-law had to go in for uh, an exam because he was having some issues. And I found out everything was okay. And I was talking to her about it and told her what it was. And she goes, I've never heard of that ever. She's a nurse. She said, I've never heard of that in my life. And she's laughing, so I looked it up on the on Google and saw it. You know, and it didn't explain what it is, and I'm not going to say what it is. I'm going to skip that part. But my, um, I told her, I said, man, it's right here. And there was a big, you know, all these different sites you could go to that talked about it and the cure rate and things like that. And she said, you know, she just never heard about it. And then I looked at photos and, and said, oh, look at these pictures. It was pretty gross. Really gross. 
and I said, it's, it, it's real, you know, it's a, it's, it's a true type of cancer. And so she said, no, she'd never heard of it. So we got to the hospital. I started talking to the lady that was checking in, and I asked her if she'd ever heard of it. And my daughter, or my, I'm going to call her my daughter-in-law. I don't care. Soon to be daughter-in-law. She was like, I cannot believe you asked her that. And I said, well, why not? What's the big deal? And she said, weren't you? And I said, I don't care. You know, it's a legit disease. And I wanted to know if she'd ever heard of it. Because, you know, you're a nurse. You've never heard of it. And the nurse said, oh, yeah. I see a lot of it. So uh, she was blown away that I had asked her. And I don't have any idea why it was such a big deal. Um, it is what it is. But it turns out my brother-in-law's fine. He doesn't have it. Everything is good. They gave us all a clean bill of health. Actually, my doctor gave me a super clean one. They all did. They said I was super healthy. So I had my I had Kiki there. And I said, you got to make sure that you tell Amber, my daughter, that the doctor and the nurses all said that I was in super good health. And because my daughter keeps thinking I'm not. I keep telling her, I don't know what, why you think that. I don't have anything that, that would indicate I was in, in, in anything that less than good health. But anyway, I'm not, guys, reviewing. You're going to have to watch me for years to come because that's what keeps me going. Is the same that help. Who stole my glue gun, my tape gun? When you took my tape gun. I just had it here. Maybe I'm not in such good health. What the heck? Maybe it was just here. Well, let me grab another one. Oh, the bag is on the floor. I hope I got that color in there. I'll grab a different tape gun. Don't know where my tape gun went. Hmm. 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 I'm baffled. And I don't think I got this blue in here. And I want this blue in here because it's a nice color blue. So I'm going to stick it in there. Yep, I didn't put it in there. I know, guys, people that say they don't like my videos or whatever. I know part of it is is because I talk too much. I need to stick to stick to business. And I don't. And I won't. My mother, I was putting away the dishes tonight that she was washing because she just puts them on the counter. And I just always assume because she doesn't know where they go or because sometimes, like, we have really heavy plates. And some things she doesn't put away because she can't lift them where they need to go. So every time it's sitting on the counter, I figure it's because she doesn't need to need doesn't know where it needs to go. So I put it away and then tonight afterwards I was putting it away and she goes, would you please not put the dishes away? And I said, well I figured you didn't know where they went or they were too heavy or whatever. And she said, no, no, I'll put them away when I'm all done. She said, you are so noisy at everything you do. She said, you make my ears hurt. She said, so I'll put it away myself. She said, whenever you put pots and pans away, she said, I have to Hug my ears, my ears, it kills me. I'm too loud for her. I walk too loud, so I got tennis shoes on today, which I never wear tennis shoes. But I normally have boots of some sort on. And she said, everything I do is loud. So I'm trying to turn it down a little bit. But I told her I would try, however, not to get too excited because I don't foresee it happening. I think the chances of me being any quieter is slim to none, but I'll give it a shot. I got tennis shoes on and that's helped. But she said she usually can hear me stomping around in my office because she's right down below where I am. And it drives her insane. What can I say? I can't be retrained. I'm too old. And I don't want to. Too much other things. Uh oh, I hear somebody. I'm not going to do the rest of these. I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to take and work on the boys. There's four boys and four girls. And 
got to wait for these to dry before I can put them together. So it'll be a little bit. You can see a little bit of a seam here, so I'm going to just fill it in with a little glitter. When you do cut your two foot pieces in half, whatever it is that you're going to do, try and make sure the place that you're cutting in half is on a line that you can easily cover with glitter or with whatever you're using. Don't be cutting your pieces. Just be very careful where you cut them because sometimes you can cut them and then when you put them together, you've got a mess. Um, there, It is very, very noticeable if you don't have them. If you haven't cut like through through her face or arm or anything that's a solid color, you're going to have um, it's going to show a lot. I'll wait and get that. I shut the camera off. Um, this one's got a little bit where this overlap is, so I'm just going to put some glitter in it. Not even noticeable. There we go. Got another one done. Oops! I suppose I should look at the camera. Okay. Now I'm going to put her aside. I'm going to work on these before I come back to doing the little boys. I'm going to get these done and then I will finish up with them. Thank you and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye. Okay, it is. My husband went out there to see the grandkids and ended up bringing two of them home. So, I always tell him when I have to work, he likes to bring them home and then he says they have. he has to work. So I went and set them up in his workshop making slime. And afterwards, to build a birdhouse. And I told Papa he has to get the stuff that they need so they can build a birdhouse. He likes to bring them home and him go out and do his thing and then me take care of them. And I love them dearly, but I have work I have to get done. So. They're going to be over for Easter dinner and an Easter egg hunt tomorrow. The weather's been awesome all week, and today it's raining. So I'm hoping that it'll stay decent enough for a hunt tomorrow. It is what it is, though, right, guys? Okay, let me finish putting the glitter on these little guys. Um, as I was indicating, talking about is my machine and it having hiccups. I just want to know if anybody's had issues like that. And I'm not real sure how excited I am that I have this auto blade because I've had nothing but troubles with it. I still use the machine, but the ratchet blade is the only thing that seems to work on, on it. The only reason I don't switch it out is because I it works on that. I have a brand new machine in box sitting in the garage because I said I cannot be down and I have a machine. So before they came out with the three, I bought a backup that would be for any one of us if we needed it. And all three of us are working on the three and all three of us are having the same issue. So I do not believe it has anything to do with our machines because we all three have the exact same thing. The weird thing is, is it's we fixed it. All of us had fixed at one point and then now it's broke again. And uh, I don't know. I'm hearing some commotion down there guys. I really need to get these done. But I think these are going to be absolutely adorable. I got the skirts put on all the little girls t yesterday and got all of their glittering done. So all I have to do there is assemble and finish glittering these up. These are going to be so cute. So cute. Ooh, this one has an awful lot. I wonder if she didn't notice that the blade had to have been dull because this has a lot, a lot of leftovers on it. But, um, Oh, I forgot there's a couple other things I wanted to add to say. I can't remember what they were. Can you imagine that? Me at a loss for words. Oh, I told you in the beginning about my, my procedure that I had done on Friday. And my kids are still making fun of the videos that didn't get posted. I was pretty wound up because I really liked the stuff they put me on. I thought that was really nice. 
Okay, these are all glittered. I'm gonna move these three little guys aside to dry. There's total four, so there's eight pieces. And this one is dry. So I'm gonna put this together again. It was cut here where it met with the burlap. I wished I had some I, I had some cuttable burlap and can't find it. And if I could, I still may continue to look because it would it would be cuttable on the machine. Um, it's got a backing on it that and I bought it in the novelty papers or pa novelty papers and now I can't find it because I really would like to put burlap on his um, either burlap on on this the his wrap here or leather on his quiver. Um, I had to resort to leather on a few of them because I had these these leather shoe strings or boot strings. The boots were thrown out, and I was saying the I think it might have been on the, one of these videos earlier that I was already working on here is that. When you find scraps like this, um, keep them because you'll find that they're just the right, exactly what you need. I've probably had these leather straps probably a good two years. Um, never came up with the opportunity where I started to clean my closet out and realized how many things I have that I had forgotten about. So I'm trying to put them all over my, my office right now. Is a, is to me, a cluttered mess. But if I try and unclutter it, that puts away stuff and I can't see it. If I can't see it, I forget I've got it and it doesn't get used in there. The perfect touch for certain pieces. And to me, this leather was absolutely perfect for this little guy. And another thing I found that I put away was some, this type, I haven't cut this one up yet. I've got it hanging. Um, I had some necklaces with a lot of wood beads on them. And what I did is I cut one of them apart and made some long... I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but I'm going to keep them out where I can see them. I, I cut them up into... I left these long because the beads were larger, so this would be something that I probably would use on something that it would be kept hanging, and it would have to be on a large piece. Then the rest of them that had smaller beads and some large ones, I cut all up and I stuck them in one of my little bases um, like these are so cool now it's it's string wrapped around that circle there was a couple of those on there so I put those aside because I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna use them on but I will find something I did use the leather straps that I had on this guy put those in there but can't get a hold of them um, I already got the leather on him then I am going to take one of these beads. It's got to be the per perfect one. It may only have had one. Nope, here's one right here. And I'm going to put it at the end of his quiver or his the rope. That's where it's tied shut. I'm going to put that little wood bead. If you saw that close up, he has a little a, a little piece at the end of that strap where it would tied together in the picture. I'm talking the real, but that's where I put the bead and gave it a little bit of dimension with that. So I think I have a front and a back done for him. Nope, I got two fronts. So I'm not going to put him together right now because he's drying. When I run out of the leather, I'm going to use on the other ones. Oh, might as well do those. I'll do those right now. I'm going to use this really heavy cord that I have. Uh, it's, I don't even remember what I got it from. Again, one of those things I forgot I even had. I may have enough to do one more in leather. I do. I'm going to do one more in leather. And then I will... I think I'll do this one first. This is something I should have done so it's easier to cut. I'll bring this one first. And I'm going to bring it down here. And I can t bring it off of the... Um, my granddaughter just walked in. Is this something of importance, honey? That looks awesome. Let me touch it. They are out making slime. Can you say hi to everybody? They haven't seen me in a while. 
You haven't seen Kendall in a while. They, oh, why is it so sticky? Oh, I'm not supposed. Oh, am I not supposed to touch it? Oh, they're all making slime, and she always wants to come over. And I found the reason she wants to come over. She wants to make slime. So I made them go out in the garage and do it by Papa. There you go. That looks awesome though. But <laughs> it's too sticky. Okay. Now let me put the other side here. Why don't you go tell Papa to cut you out some pieces for you to build a birdhouse? He said I have to wait. Wait for what? Wait because Will's doing it right now. What's Will doing? Making the birdhouse. He's making the birdhouse now. He you... made me make a slime. Oh, so he's guys. If you want to join in here, anybody. <laughs> Okay, so Papa is working with Will. Will, doing what? Making the birdhouse. And why can't you do it with him? Because it's messy. Yeah, it's messy? Yeah. There's something in there, there guys. I didn't know making a birdhouse was messy. Papa told you it was messy? Yeah. Did you tell Papa he's crazy? No, because it is messy. He has to cut wood. Oh, and you can't be out there when he cuts wood? No, I don't want to be out there. Oh, there you go. It isn't because he told you you couldn't. It's because you don't want to. Yeah. You don't like the sawdust? No. No. Guys, Kendall just got back last night from her trip to... Sorry, it wasn't 1230. It was 1130. What was 1130? When we got home. Oh, 1130 last night? Yes. I didn't expect him back until today. And I think Kendall opened her eyes this morning... Realized she was at home, grabbed her phone, and called Papa to come get her. Yep. Didn't ya? I didn't know I was home because I slept the whole way. You sl oh, you slept the whole way? Yeah. Well, that was good. That made at you At like shirt. 7 o'clock, I fell asleep. So she got up this morning, and first thing is she called. Did you call my number first? Nope. Not, your mom or somebody called my number. Yeah. But um, Kendall wanted to come over immediately. So she could make slime. No. You came over because you missed us. And I want to play Uno. Oh, and you want to play Uno. You know why Papa she wants to play busy. Uno? She wants to play Uno because Papa plays her for money. Yeah. And That's I was guess who wins? Huh? I do. Who wins? I do. Hmm. There's a shock. Yeah, she likes to come over and play Uno because Papa's a sucker. So she wants to play for money. You little hungry mongrel. Where are you going? So go put this in a bag. Oh. Yeah, she likes to make the slime all the time. And Papa tells me, oh yeah, he ran, went to go to Menards this morning because he needs some stuff to finish up a bench he's making. And I called him and he said, oh yeah, Kendall wanted to come over. So he was going to get her and I reminded him very nicely that I had to work. And he said, that's fine. So what does he do? He comes over and brings two of them, not one. He brings two. He brought my grandson as well. And turns them loose, and then they come up to my office when I'm trying to film. And here comes another one now when they're, he's supposed to be watching them. How do you think that's working out for me, guys? And I was going to say, which I can't control, uh, but I've had people comment uh, on things. My my philosophy of life is if you don't have something nice to say, keep your mouth shut. Um, yeah. And I've had a lot of people say to me that, not say or ask or whatever, how to and, and why didn't I do this and why didn't I do that. I'm going to reiterate, and I've said this numerous times on numerous videos. I don't get paid for this. Out. So I don't I'm not I'm going to put this on pause again because my kid, my grandkids don't realize they shouldn't be interrupting me. Okay, guys. I'm going to try one more last time. This is my third shot where I keep getting interrupted. But anyway, it is like five hours later. I'm going to try now, and if I get interrupted again, I'm going to call it done. Anyway... I'm putting the last of the little boy together. I got the rest of them all done. And I there goes my dog wanting out the minute she hears me. Then if I shut her out there, she wants right back in. Well, anyway. 
I am going to put this little guy together and show you my new bases, how the little guys look on my new wood bases that I absolutely love. I shouldn't call my new wood bases because when those are gone, they'll no longer be available, so I won't be using them. So the first, I think I ended up getting probably maybe 16 total. And when 60 pieces are done and the boxes are gone, you folks with the, the little boxes are going to have a definitely one of a kind. Because I highly doubt that I'll be able to get a hold of those again, at least not for a dollar a box. I need to go over to Target, though. Dar Target has those dollar bins. I'm having trouble with my glue leaking. Or not, or stringing, which it never does. I'm wondering if somebody got a hold of it and changed the temperature. I'm going to try and see. I'm trying to think when it drips more, if it's hotter or if it's cooler. It would make sense that it would be when it was hotter, no, cooler, because it was having a hard time letting go. However, if it's hotter, it might drip by itself. So we're going to find out. I turned it up to 340. Someone had asked me the blue, glue temperature I use setting. Typically 300. I'm putting it up at 340 because I'm getting a lot of strings and I don't know why. I never get strings. But I had my husband go out this morning to get me Easter eggs because I decided for the grandkids this year on the Easter egg hunt I was going to, they were all going to be assigned a color because the bigger kids seem to get eggs quicker. So I told my husband to do that and just put a little change in each one of them and maybe some candy. So I said, pick up some Easter candy. Well, I got a bunch of eggs now, but no candy, which means I'm going to have to run out. I don't think or convince him that he needs to go back out. I can't get him out of the garage, guys. I literally cannot get him out of there. He's been there since this morning. He's working on the first headboard that we got that he's turning into a bench where it would, which it can sit on. It's for an entryway and then it opens where you can store like Midwest folks, mittens, gloves, hats, things like that for the winter. See how I got the bottom half here? The reason that I don't put them together like front is because it's easy it's easier to line them up if it's just a half at a time. It's just, for some reason, it's easier. And I don't like, I don't know how to explain it, but because they're cut in two, sometimes they don't match it up just perfect. I don't know if it shifts a little or doesn't cut out. I don't know. I don't know what makes it do that. But when I glue, glue them together first, and if it doesn't match up, I'm not able to fix them at the seam. I have to fix them somewhere else and it might be very noticeable. So when I do the two foot pieces like that, this, I put them together individually. And I've almost got the little boys done. Going to be finishing that one up right now. And then I'm going to work on the little girls and then they are done. I'm loving these little girls. I'm so, well, both of them, they're really, really cute. Cute file. Laura from Divine Digital Diva is awesome. Her files are awesome. And I love to work with her because she's always makes my vision, actually my customer's vision, come to life. Because she has developed, or created files that I've needed and makes it possible for me to do some of the things that maybe I couldn't do. This guy's got leather on him. I'll show you how I added the beads. I ended up adding the beads to all of them. And let's see if the string stopped now, guys. This is heating up. I can see it smoking. I think it might be the heat. I think it has to be turned up hotter because now I'm not getting the strings. So if that would be the case, no, that's not really the strings. Let me see. 
I don't know what was there before or after, but I didn't feel the strings all over my hands. Let me go back to my little beads. This little box is my base box. I think I'd already mentioned that. Um, I'm going to go back on Michael's and see if they got any more back in. I, probably not. I, I don't know. I think they get these special bargains of some sort um, that are one-shot deal. I don't know why any company, though, anybody would make something that was only going to be manufactured once. But, since that's not what I do, I probably won't be able to figure out the answers. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do the other side. What I'm going to do on the other side is going to be a little bit different because, and it doesn't matter if one side's different than the front or back or whatever because, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, you're not going to see that side front and back at the same time anyway. So what difference does it make? None. That's what I've come up with. None. It makes no difference at all. So, this one, I forgot the orange over here. Let me glitter the quiver. And it's kind of a gloomy day out today. Uh, it's been so beautiful that... I have been had a great week, and my mother had a really good week. And I just told my husband this morning that this is the best I've seen her since she's been here. Really good week. Me and my big mouth. Have you ever heard that thing that, you know, you'd say to somebody, oh, my back hasn't hurt in a month? The minute you say that, it starts. Well, the minute I said that, it started. Today's been a horrible day. A horrible day. So, I've been kind of in a not such a chipper spirits, but I think I've got it under control now. Me, anyway. I just, oh, you know, sometimes I feel like I need to solve the problems of the world. And I need to learn that I don't have to always have the answer. I don't always have to be the solution to everybody's problem. And the grandkids are still here and the husband's still outside. They've been on the iPad, and which Mommy and Daddy do not like it when they're on the iPad, but I made it perfectly clear to my husband I had work to do. So instead of coming home with one, he came home with two. And... He did warn my daughter, though, that they would probably be spending the time on the iPad. <laughs> and they have been the whole entire time. Which, I don't like to do that, but... This was my vacation, too, and I wasn't ready for it to end yet. There's a lot of things I wanted to get done. I didn't do so hot. I didn't get done what I wanted to. But guys, guess what? I have a baby coming any day now. When Jenny had Lane, she was two days early. So, she's due in a week. So, she went to the doctor for yesterday, it was Friday, and they said, your bags are packed, um, ready to go. Probably the last time that he'll see her for a routine checkup. Um baby's dropped and, and in position go. So, anytime my phone could ring, it could be having a new grandchild. So I will be sharing that that moment it happens. Maybe not the moment, but I will be sharing that along with pictures. And guys, I've always, I've never vocalized. I shouldn't say never, but rarely do I vocalize what I want or what I, you know, hope someone's having or even myself because um, you want what you want and you love what you get. It doesn't matter. But in this particular case, they've been rooting for a little girl. And I think I mentioned this probably on this same video that I'm having a heck of a time getting through because I want, what, on take four? But particularly with Jenna, because Jenna is such a femme, that I want a little girl. 
because I know that little girl would be running around um, all dialed up. These are the boxes and the bases for the two foot pieces that I absolutely love. I've got a smaller one too, which I'll show you after the little girl and when I put all these up to take pictures. The, the This is the little box. I just threw the beads in it just because I didn't have anywhere to put them. And I'm not going to be putting any of the beads on her. Ooh, and I'm working on a really cute mermaid. Valent uh, Valentine. Shower invite. Where I got Valentine, I don't know. Now, these are the back sides. Got all the little girls ready. So let's get these off. Get these out here. This will probably have won my all-time favorite. I am absolutely in love with the way she came out. Absolutely love it. She is so cute. This might be a little bit of a challenge. I'm getting my sticks to lay flat because she's got that poofy little skirt on. But I will hold it down as far as I can because I need these sticks to lay flat. There we go. Okay. Seems to be laid out flat. Sounded like an half flat commercial. And here we go. They did. I just did an update on my phone. I did an update. ATT or Apple, whoever did the update. This one, I don't know. And every time there's a update. I, for some reason, end up having to do something on my phone because now all of a sudden this has happened numerous times. I'm saying numerous, at least four times that I know of. My phone calls start to go in on my mother's phone and her phone calls start to come in on mine. It's like a call appearance on my phone or a call, alternate call number that you can set in your settings. Um, and I can't, <laughs> I can't find that setting. So my mother has been freaking out because she's getting all these weird messages um, because of this upgrade. There's something else that they did where you can block a specific call or whatever. And she saw that while she was trying to make a phone call to my ex-sister-in-law. We stayed really close with her. I shouldn't say we. She stayed really close with her. So she was trying to call her and the different call options that you have like um, send text, voicemail, send a message, email, FaceTime, all that. You have all these options. One of the options, well they were showing, which normally they don't show when you're making a call, those don't pop up. But I think there was an, the recent update, for some reason it was showing and one of those was um, do not black call, not do not call, black caller, call that black this number. So of course, mind you, you have a 89 year old woman using an uh, uh, iPhone. So when she saw that on there, she automatically thought that my ex-sister-in-law was blocking her number. So she was crying and trying to get her to understand no, it's so hard. Some of you understand completely and have answered me on sometimes when I'm going on and on. It is so hard, but when you're trying to explain technology, and I know everybody's saying, why would you get a, a her phone, iPhone in the first place? Well, um, I don't have a landline, and a cell phone's a cell phone, and we're all on a family plan, and it was one of those that I don't remember why. I mean, I don't think they're that hard to learn that she only has to do certain things, but she has to do everything on that phone. But now I'm thinking, oh man, should I get a landline? 
but she probably can't use a landline now either because it's been so long. It's been, you know, a couple of years since she's had one. Well, probably a couple of years since she used one. But she had a, a, a flip phone before the iPhone that my brother had gotten her for emergencies, but she never learned how to use that. Um, so it's, I don't know what the answer is. I just try and help her as much as I can when she has to make a phone call. She also has Siri where she can go on her iPad and, and tell the phone to call whoever she wants to talk to. <coughs> but that for some reason doesn't always work either. So she just gets very, very, very frustrated and it makes her cry. And I think it makes her cry because it makes her feel so bad that everything is so difficult for her now. <coughs> Which I can imagine. I wouldn't like that either. Um, and we probably didn't do her any good <coughs> by not making her do a lot of this for herself during this whole move because maybe if she hadn't stopped, to say if you don't use it, you'll lose it. <coughs> and that's all full of sawdust. And now so am I. Okay. Wow. No, that's not glue strips. That's sawdust. My husband, we have these sitting out in the garage where he's been building and um, boxes are full of sawdust. Ugh. Guys, I don't care what anybody says. That is adorable. That is probably one of the cutest. Better trim her skirt up a little bit. And if any of you don't think it's cute, don't care. Should be watching another channel. I'm going to have to start my... That was what I was going to say earlier. I need to start my channel out by saying, if you're here to learn something um, specific and you're not going to like it, my video, because you probably aren't going to, those older ones, there's a lot more instruction in there. And if you don't want to listen to somebody who gets sidetracked a lot, move on. Because this channel you will not enjoy. But I figured all of you would not want to be hearing that on the onset of every single one of my... I just get tired of people trying to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. You know, go out and do it yourself. Don't get paid for this. I've said it numerous times. I do the best I can. And now I'm at the point when I'm doing this. I'm doing it more because there's a lot of you that just simply like to watch them. Whether you even do crafts, you watch them. So, you kind people are the people that I will do things for. But if you're rude and demanding and think you, I owe you something, you need to move on to another channel. Because I owe you nothing. That's how some people react. I got one the other day, I can't remember. I don't get them that often. Or they go in my spam, I don't know. But when I do, I cannot, I, I just, I cannot believe the audacity of some people. Wow, blows my mind. But I guess a lot of people believe they're entitled, and they're entitled to tell me on my page, on my, t my channel, what I should and shouldn't be doing. And can you imagine if all of us went through our lives and every time we ran into somebody at the grocery store, at the gas station, at school, at daycare, whatever, and we always thought it was, let me go up to that person and tell them what I think of them. Can you imagine if we lived in a world like that? Because people don't understand. If you haven't got something nice to say, I guarantee you, that person that you just said it to didn't profit by hearing it. So, if you're not going to say something that's worth anybody listening, keep your mouth shut. I just, guys, I get on a rampage. I get on an absolute rampage because I see it so often, and I see it in positions of customer service. And man, to me, um, I just, I have absolutely no tolerance for a lack of, of service. And I wrote the guy for our house. I had written in, or mentioned in a different video about the, the deplorable condition of the 
the house that we rented. Well, the more I got into it, the more I looked at the pictures, the madder I got. And the madder I got was because the guy wouldn't respond to me. And I already mentioned that, that he wouldn't respond, he would not acknowledge, he wouldn't indicate to me, like, thank you so much for sharing that feedback, I'm going to have it checked on, find out what's going on, make sure it's taken care of, but nothing, absolutely nothing. He said, here's $200, will you not leave me feed bad feedback? Well, then I ended up talking to the people that kind of manage this, this whole area. And I heard back from them this morning, and they said, well, try and work with the owner first. And I'm like, you got to be kidding. That's why he ended up calling you, because it was I was trying to work with the owner, and the owner won't respond. So now I'm stuck. I don't know where to go. Some people sent some ideas of where I can and who I can t um, contact. So I let, wrote the owner again as a last ditch effort and t explained to him that I sent all the pictures to the... The, the um, I don't know what they are actually, kind of the people that oversee complaints and, and make sure everybody's in, in compliance and whatever. And that they recommended I contact him, which I'd done numerous times. I said, but I'm going to do it one more time before I take it to the next level, <laughs> not knowing what the next level is. But... You know, it's in Florida and I'm here. What what all am I going to do besides? So then I did write the the manager, the, the website themselves, the people who had been working with in customer support, and told them that um, I couldn't find any way to leave feedback for this guy. And I don't know why there's, I, I can't, I can see feedback, but I can't leave it. So I logged in thinking that was it, and I still can't leave it. So I had to write them. The managers back again and ask them how I can leave feedback and I'm going to post every one of those pictures. So I did write the guy back and told him this was his last chance to respond to me before I, the pictures got posted. And you know what, if I can't figure out a way, I'll post them all on YouTube. And I'll post them everywhere I can think of that. And I just got through saying don't say something you don't have anything nice to say. However, this is a health hazard, guys, because we're not only talking mold, Whatever was rotting. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the bed, bug, bed bugs. The day that we left, the people that were on the first floor, his ankle, um, his legs were not just legs, all over them, particularly my niece, um, who'd had them before from somewhere that she'd stayed. There was bed bugs. So they were all bitten up with bed bugs. So, um, anyway, that is different than. To me, that's different. I would not go in there and leave feedback, even as bad as this place was, if he would say to me, I am going to look into it and make sure this is taken care of, and then let me know that it was, because not only that, we rented from him twice. We rented from him in 2016. So, um... I did give him one last chance, and so well, I'll let you know and see if I hear from him before I I go and um, cause that's something my niece thankfully uh, had gotten um I think it was I can't remember when it, where it was that she said because I never knew about it, but she's allergic to him, and that was the worst. I didn't see it and I didn't know about it, and then she showed me pictures when we were in, when we were on the airplane. Oh my God, it was awful, awful. Thankfully, she didn't get attacked. But when we got home, I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos, we all had to, dead of the winter, coming back. So we came back to the winter cold and snow and everything. And thank God, my husband and I have a heated garage. Um, but my daughter and son have roommates. So one had to, to strip down out in the garage um, and then go in and shower and get clean clothes. But we all had to wash all of our clean clothes. We had to wash them in our bedding, every, or not our bedding, our clothes, everything, and shower when we got home. Um, and what happened? That looks like I glued it a little. And that one did. I must have buckled that up here. I'm seeing that it's on a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to have to fix that by sticking the stick down in here.
anyway well guys i'm going to finish these up and i've got to get a stick down this little girl's back because she's when i put her together i must not have glued in the center there because i'm getting a little bit of a bend so i will fix that and then i'll finish up the others and yes guys these are fixable but they're not easy when that happens and i didn't get enough in there so there you go that stick will cover it and it'll be all fixed and you're probably wondering how did i just do that well you gotta be quick before the glue gets too dry so all right i'm gonna finish these up get some pictures and then the next thing i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do a scrapbook page next so have a good one and thanks for watching bye bye